Welcome to DX Adoku training video number 67. In this video, we will discuss part two topics for the extreme puzzle solving technique called XY chain. For this video, you should watch DX Adoku training video number 66 titled XY chain part one before watching this video. Also note, during the third example of this video, we update the XY chain search algorithm, which was presented in part one. At the end of this video is a set of 10 practice exercises. The practice exercises are designed to help you master the XY chain technique. Each practice exercise will include a hint to help you get up the learning curve for this puzzle solving technique. Try to use Hadoku for doing the practice exercises. Hadoku's cell and candidate coloring features are useful for finding XY chains. For more information on Hadoku, Take a look at DX Hadoku video number 49 titled Hadoku User's Guide. We begin with the following Sudoku with an XY chain search in progress. We are currently using the possible 2 candidate in cell 2, 3 as our starting cell candidate. Next, we perform the leave on X test. As you can see, our starting cell has two different chaining paths out of the cell. So our starting cell passes the leave on X test as indicated in the log. We identify two by value cells having a possible two candidate that we could possibly use as an ending cell in our chaining sequence. We validate cell six comma five has a kill zone with target candidates to kill. We validate cell six comma five passes the come in on Y test and we update our log. Next, we look at cell 7, 7 to see if it is a valid ending cell. Cell 7, 7 is disqualified as an ending cell because there are no target candidates to kill in its kill zone. We are now ready to begin looking for a chaining sequence. Our starting cell candidate is the 2 in cell 2, 3, and we have a one single ending cell at 6, 5. Right off the bat, we have victory as shown. We find a chaining sequence from the starting cell candidate to the ending cell as documented in the log. There are four types of XY chains based on the number of cells in the XY chain's kill zone. In part one of the XY chain tutorial, an XY chain having a six cell kill zone was demonstrated. What we have here in this example is a type two, where the kill zone is composed of two cells now highlighted in red. Next, we will demonstrate a type 3 XY chain. Consider the following Sudoku in progress. We've highlighted all the by value cells. We begin our XY chain searching process by using the possible 4 candidate in cell 1, 4 as our starting cell candidate. Our starting cell passes the leave on X test. We determine there are 6 possible ending cells, now highlighted in purple, we can target in our chaining sequence. And we find a successful chaining path between our starting cell at 1, 4 and our ending cell at 2, 6 as shown. In this example, an XY chain having a 7 cell kill zone is being demonstrated. For this tutorial, we are calling this a type 3 XY chain. Type 1 and type 2 XY chains are quite common. A type 3 is relatively uncommon. Next, we will demonstrate a type 4, which is very rare. Consider the following Sudoku with an XY chain search in progress. We are currently using the possible 9 candidate in cell 3, 4 as our starting cell candidate. This will be our 14th attempt at finding a successful XY chain with this puzzle and with this set of by value cells. The starting cell passes the leave on X test and two ending cells have been identified that have passed the enter on Y test and have target candidates to kill in their kill zones. Notice we did not include cell two comma two as one of our ending cells. This is because with XY chaining attempt number eight, we had the possible nine candidate in cell two comma two as the starting cell candidate. And with this starting cell candidate, we had cell three comma four as one of the possible ending cells. It turns out that XY chains are bidirectional. Once we search a starting cell ending cell combination, we do not have to repeat any previous search attempts. We update our XY chain algorithm to take into account the XY chains are bidirectional. Not repeating searches will save us a lot of time. We only have to search to the right and below the current starting cell for any possible ending cells. 
we are now ready to begin searching for a chaining sequence. And we find an XY chaining sequence as shown. What you are looking at is the Moby Dick of XY chains. This is by far the rarest type of XY chain you will see. The starting cell and ending cell are located within two shared houses. The kill zone is composed of 13 cells all highlighted in red. In preparation for this video, it took me probably around 100 puzzle generation tries before I found one with a 13 cell kill zone having target candidates to kill in both shared houses. If you find one of these creatures in the wild, you may need to cut down the amount of time you are spending playing Sudoku. For this XY chain, we added the common notation most people and programs use for describing XY chains. It's very similar to what we've been doing all along. Notice that only the weak links are shown in the notation. The strong links within by-value cells are implied to exist. Also notice that there is an equal sign and then a greater than symbol to say the logic of the sequence implies, and then a list of cell locations provided followed by a less than and greater than symbols and the number, meaning the cell's reference can't be that number. Time to test what you have learned. Before we begin, please take some time to support the Exodoku. Find the XY chain in the puzzle, identify the starting cell candidate, ending cells, the chaining path, and target candidates to kill in the kill zone. Pause the video. Here is a hint. Find the chaining path and target candidates to kill in the kill zone. Pause the video. Here is the solution. Find the XY chain in the puzzle. Pause the video. Here is a hint. Find the chaining path and target candidates to kill in the kill zone. Pause the video. Here is the solution. Find the XY chain in the puzzle. Pause the video. Here is a hint. Find the chaining path and target candidates to kill in the kill zone. Pause the video. Here is the solution. Find the XY chain in the puzzle. Pause the video. Here is a hint. Find the chaining path and target candidates to kill in the kill zone. Pause the video. Here is the solution. Find the XY chain in the puzzle. Pause the video. Here is a hint. Find the chaining path and target candidates to kill in the kill zone. Pause the video. Here is the solution. Find the XY chain in the puzzle. Pause the video. Here is a hint. Find the chaining path and target candidates to kill in the kill zone. Pause the video. Here is the solution. Find the XY chain in the puzzle. Pause the video. Here is a hint. Find the chaining path and target candidates to kill in the kill zone. Pause the video. Here is the solution. Find the XY chain in the puzzle. Pause the video. Here is a hint. Find the chaining path and target candidates to kill in the kill zone. Pause the video. Here is the solution. Find the XY chain in the puzzle. Pause the video. Here is a hint. Find the chaining path and target candidates to kill in the kill zone. Pause the video. Here is the solution. Find the XY chain in the puzzle. Pause the video. Here is a hint. Find the chaining path and target candidates to kill in the kill zone. Pause the video. Here is the solution. This completes the Exodoku training video number 67. Thank you for watching.